Megan Whittle, shown being introduced before Maryland's regular season finale versus Northwestern, Doug Capustin, for the Washington Post, Megan Whittle's life is filled with goals. Goals scored in games, a whole mountain of those goals netted in practice, goals assisted on, goals visualized, goals set to bury more goals, and so on. She thinks about goals all the time, in the days between games, while traveling to games, during games and after them, when she traces her finger down the box score to see how many times she scored. So when Whittle was asked about the two games out of 85 in her college career in which she did not score, the two tiny holes in four years marked by constant defensive production, she was a bit confused. Wait, has that happened? asked Whittle, a senior attack on the Maryland women's lacrosse team. Twice. When? Wait. Don't tell me, she shot back while scratching her head and tapping her right foot. Syracuse my freshman year, I was just a freshman and they face guarded me and I was like why are they face guarding me? I'm only a freshman, Whittle said, the whole game flooding back. But I don't know the other one. When was it? Tell me, Whittle shown scoring one of her 279 career goals, most in Maryland program history. Doug Capustin, for the Washington Post, Penn State, April 2016. Oh no, that game. Whittle shrieked, and then wiggled her whole body as if a shiver crawled up her spine. The 5'4 Whittle is Maryland's all-time leader in goals scored 279 and counting and could finish her college career with the second most in NCAA history. She is not used to being stopped, even momentarily, Whittle netted a goal in each game of her undefeated career at nearby McDonough High School and has lost only three contests as a Terrapin. Having just two goal-less college games is all the more impressive considering how defenses approach her, with constant double teams, occasional triple teams and often a defender devoted to denying her the ball and nothing else. Whittle expects the same kind of attention as second-ranked Maryland, 16-1, begins the postseason starting Friday against Johns Hopkins in the Big Ten tournament in Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's only happened twice? Wow, that's crazy, Maryland coach Kathy Reese said. But at the same time, nothing surprises me with her anymore. She is finishing up one of the greatest careers in the history of women's lacrosse. The number did not surprise Jeff Whittle, Megan's father, because he charts all of her statistics by hand. At the end of each season, Jeff tallies up each time his daughter scored seven goals per career high, six, a total she reached just 13 games into her freshman year, five, four and so on, all the way down to zero. Her first goal-less game came against Syracuse in the NCAA tournament semifinals in 2015. From the start, Syracuse glued a defender to Whittle wherever she went, a common tactic against star attacks but not often rolled out for a freshman. That's why it surprised Whittle, her dad in the stands and her coaches on the sideline, who instructed Whittle to remove herself from the action and take the defender with her. That allowed Maryland to play 6-on-6 six six against Syracuse's defense, and their talented attack utilized the space on its way to a 10-8 win. Whittle was excited about the win but confused about her part in it, she barely touched the ball, finishing with one shot and a lot of standing around, so did she even contribute. I was a little sad, you know? Not in a selfish way but because I didn't feel like I did anything. Whittle said. Then one of my teammates Deads, who is a lacrosse coach and really knows the sport, told me I had a great game. I thought he was mistaking me for someone else, but he told me that no, I helped open up the offense for everyone else. That made me feel better. Then I scored a hat trick in our championship win over UNC, the first of three national championship appearances and two national titles in her career so far. The Penn State game came less than a year later and was more of the same. Nittany Lions stuck a defender on Whittle and this time she did not even take a shot. The Terrapins won, 10-9, to capture the Big Ten regular season championship, and celebrated with t-shirts, hats and a lot of hugs. Whittle, then a sophomore, was thrilled with the victory and a bit frustrated by her own performance. Her job has always been to find the net. She has the speed to blaze past defenders, the accuracy to fire the ball into small, shrinking windows, and the awareness to dart into open space to catch a teammate's pass. She does not like the empty feeling of finishing a game without scoring, it's kind of like I wasn't even there, she says, which could explain how it's happened so infrequently, against Syracuse, then Penn State, and not once since. In a lot of cases, teams keying on Megan so much can be good for Maryland, Jeff, her dad, said. But at the same time, and I can't speak for her, I find it a lot more enjoyable when she is scoring goals than when she isn't.